you won't believe that Greedent has the highest skill cap in the game, but it really does. I'm able to get the Zapdos with the Belch, man, and this moveset, Kobit and Belch, look at this, I'm constantly spamming Belch, man, it has no cooldown at all, I'm missing most of them because it's so difficult to hit, but we are able to score, man, and now I'm gonna hit them and I'm really gonna showcase just how strong this is, the damage is gonna be crazy, I'm healing so much with the berries constantly dropping and look at this damage boom half health off that greninja instantly gone we finished the talent flame as well insane guys yo you're watching shirko we're back with some more pokemon unite and in this video we will be checking out the new halloween event guys we got a new pokemon the greedent will be playing two gameplays of it because of course we are on that new map on that immersed stadium revamp for the halloween event and as you can see we have a little bit of a different battle item but i will explain everything i will as i said show you two gameplays since this is a quick battle so this map only takes five minutes guys i really recommend you guys to try it out as you can see insanity already ensues everyone is turning into pumpkins everyone is dashing around because you get more levels and stuff but that was always on these quick battles but anyway as you can see we're playing some greedent as well now um i'm gonna be showing you two different move sets and i'm telling you this pokemon while not that hyped by the community a lot of people are in fact disappointed i think it is a surprise hit for me because it is so much fun I didn't expect that as you can see we have this little passive with the berries going and it is hilarious we have the bullet seat as well i'm gonna go for stuff cheeks and bullet seat for this first gameplay and then in the second gameplay you've seen it in the intro clip that build is probably even better and even more fun but it is ridiculously difficult man i'm telling you maybe the highest skill cap in the entire game yeah we didn't expect this from this little chubby squirrel, did we? Well, I'm telling you guys, a uh, hidden banger right here. Really excited for this Pokemon. But yeah, before we get into the rest, into the held items and stuff, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, so you don't miss any further Pokemon Unite content on this channel. And as you can see, let me explain the Pumpkin Toss first, because that is, in fact, the only thing that is different compared to the previous Mare Stadium. Um, of course, the visuals are different, it is that autumn, it is that spooky, skelly, skeletons look, you know, um, with the Halloween theme. But other than that, you really just have this battle item, everyone has, everyone has to use this pumpkin toss. And what it does, it has a, lo a long range, you throw it, it stuns the enemy, and if you hit the enemy, you get the new thing, pumpkin push i think and with that you have a melee range um, slap where you can really knock the enemies away super far if you get turned into a pumpkin and here you will see the unite move super good unite move man i'm telling you this pokemon is as i said it's a banger man as you can see if the enemies turn you into a pumpkin it is not the end of the world because you get a dash you are a pumpkin for a couple seconds you can't use your normal uh moves but you have that dash that shoves people super far. So this is basically ping pong, guys. Okay, some table tennis for the experts of that sport. And yeah, it is hilarious, man. You just kick each other across the map all the time. See, he kicks me away with that pumpkin shove, pumpkin push, whatever. And let's get into that moveset, man. Held items really briefly in both of these gameplays. I ended up using muscle band for our only... Uh, attacking choice because it is a physical attacker and it has that uh, charge attack where every charge attack actually throws one of these berries and these berries are super important you can see the five stacks under your health bar for the berries if you have more berries your bullet seed will deal more damage your other moves will do more as well the stuff cheeks is really good in my opinion because it throws five berries instantly gives you a shield heals you a lot as you can see, it gives you move speed. Just amazing, man, with this bullet seed. Bullet seed, very difficult to hit, though. To keep that in mind. But yeah, unfortunately, we get this up, though. Stolen, man! And if you ever played Mer Stadium, if you like these quick battles, um, like I do, 
then you probably know that when you get that Zapdos stolen at the end, it is even more brutal than it ranked. But I'm fighting this uh, this little Zera Aura here. I'm shooting my bullet seed. I'm gonna use my Unite move. I'm dealing a ton of damage. We're able to get the takedown, man. I'm spamming the stuff cheeks, but I get turned into a stupid little pumpkin. I guess it wasn't a treat for me this time, it was the trick, huh? Not bad, huh? But yeah, unfortunately we get taken down, but my team is defending so well. And I will tell you, man, this ending was a banger. Um, yeah, for the other two held items, excuse me, I'm a little bit all over the place, but I am excited and there's a lot of stuff to explain. The other held items, Body Barrier and Focus Band, I just want to be tanky, man, this is a defender. And as you can see, 156 to 156, we ended up getting the victory, man. I'm telling you, this is so much fun. They, this Pumpkin Toss, man, they know how to make some fun game modes. I hope they will make more in the future. This will only last for a couple of... Um, you can see the held items again there, but I showed you at the start of the video. Um, we have one Ultra player, not too bad. Again, this is quick battle, so this is not ranked. We don't have... Actually, in the previous one, in the first... Gameplay that I showed you in this video, we had two other master players. Very lucky, I guess the master players are the people who wake up early for this patch. But yeah, we're back on that little boy. I don't know what the pre-evolution of Greedent is called. Please teach me in the comments below uh, so I can know for future videos. I should have just googled that. I'm just lazy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm too excited. I need to check this thing. And now we will go for the Covet or Kove. Kove Mech. Maybe it's French. And the i don't know what it's called but it's cool man i'm telling you i'm telling you man and what kobe does okay let me explain the comment so it makes you run a little bit faster and you drop berries all the time and you kick people you knock them up briefly and you deal damage while you're running and it transforms your other move into something else so tackle instead of dashing forward and um you know slowing people it becomes an AoE around you that slows people and deals damage. And the cool thing is, the next move we're gonna take, we need to hit level 7 to unlock it, which takes a little bit of time. This Pokemon, definitely a little bit of a slow scaler. I'm not sure about the body barrier for ranked. I will, of course, upload a master guide, as always, guys, for the new Pokemon. So subscribe, ring the notification bell if you don't want to miss that. But yeah, see, we have the Belch now. And what Belch does, I was really surprised. It's very difficult. This, again, might be the most difficult build. Most difficult Pokemon in the game. I'm not kidding. You will see why. Covet, Covet and Belch, whenever you're running, you can spam the Belch, man. And whenever you hit, you get less cooldown as well, I think. And as you can see, it's always in front of you. And you can't walk like you usually do with the Covet, it has a little bit of turn speed assigned to it, so you're kind of drifting, so it's like a racing car simulator. But look at this, see? It's really difficult to hit the belch, but if you do, see, I missed it there. If you do, you do so much damage with it, and it's really, really fun. I definitely think this is gonna be the best build. Um, like, you see, I'm just, I'm really struggling to make it work, but, as soon as you make it work, you saw it in the intro, guys. Uh, we really figured it out by the end of this game. Holy moly, did the damage surprise me. I'm telling you, this Pokemon, once again, is a sleeper hit. You might not be too excited for the design of it. Look at this Belch. Without Covet, Belch does a ton of damage. Look at this. And with Covet, it does a little bit less, but it has less cooldown. And as you can see, it goes a little bit past the range as well. Look at this. I'm drifting, constantly trying to hit the Belch. Here I use the pumpkin push, but we still get taken down. Man, there's just so much stupid stuff going on. I'm telling you, if you want to have a good time, play this map for sure, man. Try it out. Has this beautiful Halloween theme as well. I'm loving it, guys. This is a great update so far, and I didn't even try the new builds. Venusaur with Solar Beam, I think that's going to be OP, for example. And um, yeah, hey, it is what it is. I didn't even try the new Lucario skin. It is 2.5k. That's really un outrageously expensive. Do not buy that. I'm telling you, I can't even can't even sugarcoat that. Do not buy that. I'm gonna buy it. So watch my video. That's it. We steal the buff, man, and then we use another belch. It does so much damage. It's ridiculous, man. And yeah, 
basically COVID or the um, cheeks, stuffy cheeks, whatever it's called, they replenish your berry count and then your belch and your bullet seed deal more damage based on the berry count. And you constantly have this little mini game going on where you constantly have to uh, replenish berries and stuff. And it's just hilarious. And when I, when I saw this Pokemon first, I was really worried it would be one of those you steal your teammates berries all the time. But no, man, you drop these blue little garbage berries all the time, man. They don't heal you that much, but you have so many of them and it just adds up. And we are able to last hit it with the belch this time around. I lose my Unite move. And look at this, man. You've seen it in the intro. This clip was insane in my opinion. See, I'm missing so much, but it constantly keeps refreshing. Um, because the Unite move actually gives you infinite berries for a couple seconds. So my Belch keeps refreshing. This Pokemon is crazy. I am so excited. Genuinely. Genuinely, guys. I know lots of people. Look at this damage, bro. Lots of people weren't excited at all for this little guy. But I'm telling you guys, it's underrated, man. Look past this design. I know a lot of people aren't fans of Sword and Shield, aren't fans of the Generation 8 Pokemon. But come on, man. I'm pretty sure this is Generation 8. Is it? Is it Gen 7? I hope it's Generation 8. I hope I'm not embarrassing myself. I will show you the damage numbers, of course, here for both these games. This is the first one where I didn't do that much, but still 26%. The Absol completely outdamaged us, though. But here we have the most damage with 28% and an impressive 32% tanked. And of course, the healing was absolutely insane as well. But I think that is a given with this little guy that constantly throws the berries and heals. Guys, let me know what you guys think about these movesets, about this build, about Greedent in general. Let me know what you think about the new Halloween patch, the new Halloween map especially, in the comments below. Subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!